A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth casting its shadow. Most solar eclipses are partial, meaning that only a portion of the sun is blocked by the moon. But once every year or two, from certain vantage points on earth, the ideal planetary alignment occurs and the moon blocks the sun entirely. This phenomenon is what is called a total solar eclipse. The geometry that we have here on Earth is, is remarkable in the solar system because here we have uh, a rocky moon that orbits the Earth once every 29 and a half days. And we've got the Earth orbiting the Sun once every year. And these two objects, which are very different from each other, the Sun and the Moon, uh, just happen to appear the same size from the surface of the Earth. The Sun is 400 times larger than the Moon, and it's a gaseous uh, star, and the Moon is this rocky, hard, cold body. But when the Moon aligns perfectly directly in front of the Sun, it perfectly masks the Sun's disk, and we see, can see the Sun's outer atmosphere. We don't have this kind of geometry any place else in the solar system. This fortuitous geometry has given observers a unique opportunity a chance to peer at features of the sun that are rarely seen on Earth. They get to see something that uh, is there all the time but is rarely revealed to them. So here, here is part of their world, their universe, uh, which is uh, frequently hidden. In the total eclipse, actually, what we are seeing is normally what we cannot see. Uh, so that's why it is so unusual and what we cannot see that we are actually seeing in that four minutes is the corona, the chromosphere and the corona of the sun. That's always there, uh, except that our sky is brighter than that, our blue sky during the day. So it's just hiding it. It's just uh, this corona, which is up there all the time, is just hidden by just the brightness of, of the day sky. Uh, and during an eclipse, the sun gets blocked, the day sky goes dark, and suddenly you can see this glowing, pearly uh, atmosphere of the sun that you normally can't see. The sun is a star, a massive ball of superheated gas. It could be seen as the central character in the drama of this planet, but its physical nature was little understood until the 19th century. The eclipse expeditions of the late 1800s were only the beginning of a growing recognition of the importance of solar research. Most recently, scientists have been seeking to better understand the sun's wide range of influences on the Earth. And they have shared with the 19th century eclipse observers a fascination with the corona, that wispy, tenuous halo of light surrounding the sun.